so there we go um so right here we're gonna start working on rows since it's as if we finished the uh, qr code let's clean up the rows as you can see they are not clickable but when we click on this icon we can now see the row you see it has an id admin created as no uh, first of all we know that eventually only admins can view roles but we don't need to see the id so let's go clean up the row interface and we're going to remove this back button so the row we're going to go to row roles and um, on the show field so if we click on show fields on the row, we'll see the ID. We don't need to know the ID. Then the updated as field created that we don't even need to know the updated as the created that field. We can make it to display proper time. Let me refresh this first. We'll refresh this. We don't even need to know when it was created. But let me just show you something about Laravel time. If we come here and do um, format. We can now do the the um, month year this way. If we do it this way, it's going to format that time. It will no longer be numbers like this. It's going to look cute now. See, beautiful. Thursday, seven June, two thousand eighteen. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to remove this back button. If you look here, you see that that back button is not there. But if we go to Show Blade, we'll see the culprit. Look at it. The back button. I'll remove it. Beautiful. So I'll call this row, okay? If you refresh here, you'll see row. Cool. So if we get back, another thing we can do is to add an edit button here if we ever need to edit it. So to get that edit button, we can get it from the front. Look at here, there is an edit button. We can go get the code for this edit button from the table. All right, so if we go to table, we'll see the edit button, look at it. So we can copy it, as you can see, edit. We'll get back to show fields. Not show fields, show blade. At the top here, we can create, paste it here. So, right here, bottom primary. We want it to be green or blue. Blue, and uh, we'll remove this. We don't want it to be tiny. And um, this is an icon. That is displaying we don't need an icon we just say edit row beautiful let me show you what it looks like let me put it in a separate line so you'll see this is what i have here all right then we have to make move it to the left so i can do pull pull move it to the right sorry pull right so that the whole button goes right let's see what it looks like reload sorry i have to open one you see And this is what it looks like. Um, see, it's drowning into this, all right? Because this one is extending to the extreme. We need to curtail its excesses here. We're gonna do a class, class, uh, when it's on MD call, MD, we can just say six, occupy six of the screen. And this one too, we'll refresh. And um, it did that, but it's not looking cool again because a much better way to organize it is um, pull, putting both of them inside a hash tag. I think we should just do pull, pull left, and then do exactly the same thing. Another hash tag here. Uh, close the hash tag H1. Then we'll do pull right. I think this should probably just solve the problem. We refresh and. Uh, so, but it's still in common. So the immediate solution would be to put this clear fix here, and uh, we come here and refresh, and it's done. You see, so that when somebody is looking at a row, they can edit it. And this reminds me that we can do this too on QR codes, because if you're looking at the QR code when you're viewing it, um, there's no way to edit it. So we need to put the button there. So we will simply go to QR codes and we we'll do this one fast by just copying because we're lazy. The programmer is supposed to be lazy. We'll go to um, the index because we know that index has it at the top. Index has a button well organized like that. So we can just copy the button on index. 
and um, go to show show at the top here so we'll do QR code now we're gonna have to replace this with what we have in the index if we go to table at the bottom we have a date this is for QR codes I'm trying to just copy instead of typing out things by myself we'll copy the href for the edit now we've copied it we can go back to the index where are we on show right so here we're just going to come to this place and change this so and it's going to say edit edit and um, let's just see it first then I'll show you one more thing so right here that's it we we'll still need to push it down the reason is we have to start we have to add that clear fix all right so we can go here and copy it look at it clear fix we copy it clear fix Photoshop blade And some other thing we need to even add is the display. This is what use, displays the message, uh, the flash messages. Uh, we need to add it to. So we'll just copy it so that messages will display. After like after you've edited, it should tell you edit was successful. We'll paste it there. Perfect. Refresh. And that's beautiful. All right. Um, one thing I can do is... Um, I can remove this QR code. There's nothing there. The text is just um, not doing anything there. So keep it like this, and we're good. So subsequent video, um, we will make these links. At least now we know that we can view it and edit the role beautifully. See you guys.